Hi friends, this is Manish Pandey. Welcome back to another video series on UiPath storage buckets. I will show you how to list all the files from UiPath storage buckets using UiPath Studio activities. We'll be using the list storage files acti activity to retrieve and display a list of files stored in your storage bucket. So let's get started. So last time we used upload a storage file activity to upload file to a storage bucket. Now we'll be using list storage file activity. Now let's search here list storage files. Let's drag and drop here. Now here there are two options directory and a storage bucket name. Now one more thing right side you can see we need to enter the folder path from where your bucket is located. So the folder I will be taking HR. From HR folder, from this folder I, I am going to use HR documents bucket. So this is our folder. Now in the storage bucket name I will write here HR documents. This is the bucket name. Now we have directory. So directory basically if you open this, so this is called directory. This can be a root directory, which is we can say a root directory where we have all these files available. Directory can be this 2024 and then inside this directory we have one PDF file. We can say 2024 and then inside one another subdirectory subfolder that is September. September, October and then November like that. So this is a directory. So we need to define that from which directory you want to list files. So first I will show you with root directory. It means we will get all the files available in the HR documents storage buckets. So for that we will write here in double course slash. Okay. This will give all the files from storage buckets. Right side you can see we have results. So let's create one variable so that we can access it. So we can say list storage files and the type is system.collections.generic.i enumerable. That's a part of UiPath core.activities.storage.storage file info. We have option recursive. It means do you want to get the files from all the folders and subfolders? So yes, we want to get it. If you set it false, then this will give you only this file. I will show you. Now let's take here log message. Log level is info message will be list storage files dot count and let's debug it now step by step I will show you so this activity successfully executed now we have list of file here and the count is 6. So in the HR documents HR that buckets storage buckets we have 6 files you can see here now let's stop this ok let me delete it this is not required so that I can run this directly. Now right side if I will set it false recursive then it will give us only one record one file let's run that. Okay, so you can see we have one file that is only the payslip.pdf which is a part of root directory and we have chosen this false. So if you want to get all the files from the root directory we need to set it as a true. Okay, now the next one I want to get the files from 2024 folder only. Okay. 
So if I will set only 224 and then recursive is true, then it will give us 5 records, 5 files. If I will set recursive as a false, then it will give me only this record because only one file available in this 224 folder or directory. Let's check that. So it is like slash, it means inside the root, we have one more folder that is 2024. Now let's run that. And we have set it recursive as a true. Now if I change it to recursive false, then it will give us only one record. Now let's get all the files from 2024 folder, that directory. Okay, set it true. And now I want to show you those records here. So let's say I will use for each activity. And then here I will pass list storage files. So for each current storage file info, so item name is this, for each current, for each current storage file info. Now I will take this log message inside that and I will use this item name dot, I want the path, the file path basically, the, the folder, uh, the file name which is showing here this one I want this one so we can get this one file full path so current storage file info dot file full path it will list out all the files inside this 2024 folder because we have recursive now let's run that okay so we have five files so this way we can list out all the files from the given directory using list storage files activity in UiPath Studio. And the real life use case is that imagine a scenario where an automation board needs to process all the invoices stored in a bucket. So you can use the list storage files which will list all the files and then with the combination of other activities like download a storage files, delete a storage files, you can walk on that, you can process those documents. I hope this video is helpful. If you found this video, this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more UiPath videos. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.